Yelp connects people with great local businesses, but who are the people behind the scenes? We want to give you an inside look. Jeremy, why don't we start off with the name? Where did Yelp come from? You know, it was funny. We were just a few weeks away from launching the site, and I was trying really hard to get the domain name Yokel, like local Yokel. I was obsessed with it. My co-founder Ross thought, you know, that was the perfect name, but I just couldn't get my hands on the domain name. Like I tried to buy, just couldn't couldn't get my hands on it. And so there was another person that was helping us out in the very early days of the company, this guy David, and he was searching around, casting about, and he came to us and he's like, I, I've got this name. How, what do you think of Yelp? And um, <laughs> my initial reaction, and my co-founder Russ's initial reaction was, oh, I don't know. I mean. It means it's sort of like a cry for help. Like, will we get past that? Does it have a negative connotation? And you know, so we slept on it. it took about a day, and the next day, you know, we, we rolled into the office, and you know, it was the only name we had. It was short. It was memorable, uh, and it actually ties into what Yelp is all about too, because Yelp and Yellow Pages kind of sound familiar, and Yelp and Help, you know, is another thing that the the site provides. And so ultimately we came back and we're like, you know what, this is going to be it. it it's, it's short, it's easy to spell, and it generally, you know, Yelp help and Yelp yellow pages, it just makes sense. Nice. And so then once you had the name, where did the concept for the site itself come from? You know, it was back in 2004. I was working with my old boss, Max Levchin, in a little space, and we were trying to come up with the next big thing on the internet. Mm -hmm. And after about a you know, month of, of brainstorming, I actually got the flu and uh, decided oh, I need to find a doctor, turned to Google, and, and did a search looking for doctors in San Francisco. And I was just floored to find out that there was almost no information from consumers, no word of mouth information could be found on the internet about doctors. I ended up on an insurance website. I found my way to you know, just the most basic information of what doctor was closest in proximity, but I didn't care about any of that stuff. I really wanted to know who's a caring doctor, who's going to take time with me. And what I wanted, of course, was to tap into word of mouth. I wanted to understand what did other people think about the various doctors in my area. And none of that was available online. And so with that frustration came the site Yelp in 2004, which was really, it started actually about being a place where you could ask friends for recommendations. Mm -hmm. And it was through putting that site out that we eventually realized that there are people out there that want to share this information. They were dying to share it. You just needed to give them a platform. And that's ultimately what Yelp became. You said that Yelp was started in 2004, so relatively young company. How has Yelp set itself apart and become so popular in such a short amount of time? You know, it's, the site just resonated with people. I think it was something that they were looking for, just like I was in 2004. It tapped into a, a real consumer need, which is we all want to know what are the great businesses around us. We need them every day. It's like if, if my toilet breaks, I need a plumber. If I need to get my haircut, I want to go to the best stylist. And so how do you find that, those great businesses? Well, you ask other people. You rely on word of mouth. And so what Yelp was able to create is a place that would capture all this word of mouth that's in people's heads. We all have this knowledge. So if you go bring it into one place and then allow others to search over it, you have this incredibly powerful tool that's able to drive people to the best local businesses.